Você já parou para pensar sobre a relação que os filmes de terror têm com a água? Seja num oceano com tubarões, num lago com piranhas, ou mesmo num chuveiro, ou numa banheira. E agora chegou a hora de nos colocar em medo na piscina. Estreia no Brasil nesta quinta, dia 18 de janeiro, Mergulho Noturno. E a gente conversou com os atores e com o diretor dessa nova produção. A tão sonhada casa virou realidade. E veio ainda com um preço especial e com piscina. Tudo perfeito? Marco. Olá. Claro que se a promessa é um filme de terror, mistérios e arrepios vem a seguir. Basta o primeiro mergulho, no início do filme, para saber para onde vai essa história. Mas deixemos os mistérios em aberto para conhecer um pouco mais das personagens e das inspirações dos atores. White Russell e Carrie Condon. Eles interpretam o casal que muda com os filhos para essa nova casa. Myself, in a way, I had been a athlete, and so I'd gone through the the pain of not being able to play anymore because of injury. Um, so there was that to draw on. I had family members who played professional baseball, and so that part of the character, at least the origin of the character, was a place to draw on. And then, uh, as it as it went through, it just became kind of building upon things that we had been doing in the story, and less like building on somebody that. Um, I had known, but yeah, sort of like that. My kids have seen things, and I'm worried something is happening to my husband. Carrie nos conta que as filmagens começaram um dia após a festa do Oscar do ano passado, quando foi indicada como atriz coadjuvante pelo papel em Os Benches de Inishirin. A atriz nos revelou que nem teve tempo de descansar voltou ao set para um gênero do qual não é muito familiar e confessou até ter medo de assistir. Because initially I met Jason for Blum for this part and I remember saying like I don't think I'm the right person for this job. Like I, I've not really done horror and I'm not like a big horror person. I don't watch horror. I live alone. So I'm like I'm not I don't put on horror movies and I'm on <laughs> my own. Sounds like a horror movie. <laughs> and then um, Beginning of a horror film. he says to me that no 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 you you don't have to worry about the horror. You just play it real and I'll do the horror. And then I was like, oh well I can play yeah. it real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that drew me to it because he was very confident in me, more confident than I was in doing the role, and then the swim, and I wanted to do all the swimming. A trama e o drama familiar vividos pelos personagens foram fatores decisivos na hora deles aceitarem os papéis. They said it hadn't been used in 15 years. Maybe they weren't cool people. That it's grounded in reality. I like that it's not um, that, like furniture isn't moving around the house and that like, you know, there aren't like little dolls that show up out of nowhere and there isn't some like, you know, magic kind of element to it that seems so unrealistic or is grounded in something so unrealistic that this is that the actual drama is grounded in if it's a family drama set against a you know evil swimming pool Th that was that was cool I, i i i just thought that was a fun opportunity to make something that was a little different than just like a regular horror film i guess it kind of reminded me of movies in the 80s and 90s that were just pure entertainment and movies i used to watch as a kid and remember all the lines to and stuff i just feel like sometimes 
with the actors that you can kind of like, you know, just think like unless it's highbrow and very artistic that like it's just not really, it's not important. And you're like, well, we are just in entertainment too. And like sometimes you do just want to be entertained. And so I was happy to be in a movie purely for entertainment. Quando conversamos com os atores, White Russell tinha acabado de voltar do Brasil e até brincou. Disse que filme de terror é o trânsito de São Paulo. It is the worst traffic you've ever been in in your life. I was just going to say. That's oh, why. Oh, no, no, no. no. Uh, it takes the cake. It's unbelievable, but it's an amazing place. Yeah. Just can't get anywhere. There for the Comic Con? Yeah. Ah, how was that? Yeah. It was fun. It was cool. It was wild. It was crazy. Brazilian fans are enthusiastic. It was awesome. First time in Brazil? Yep. First time ever. My brother is fluent in Portuguese. Oh, he really? Says, yeah, he like, goes down there and translates. Ah, wow, yeah. it's amazing. Yeah. Now, you have to go. I know. Yeah. Okay. And tell me, did you go to any pool in Brazil? I stay away from all pools after I shot this film. Uh, I'll never go in another I'm film. the opposite. I <laughs> love finding pools everywhere. I love swimming. Still now, after the movie? Yeah, come on, it's like I love swimming. It's so nice and relaxing. Assim como em vários outros filmes do gênero, o diretor aproveitou para fazer homenagens a tantas outras produções que o inspiraram durante a vida. If you've seen Jaws, there's a bunch of little Jaws Easter eggs and, uh, and references. So you, you, it sounds like you've been watching closely, you caught them. Yeah, because Jaws was a huge, huge influence on Night Swim. It was, it was the uh, seeing Jaws when I was a kid and then being in the swimming pool at night and feeling like I was convinced that that shark was beneath me rising up through the dark water in the depths. Even though I knew it didn't make sense, it just in my mind as a kid, my imagination running wild was, you know, I felt like that shark was there. So I wanted to capture what Jaws did for the ocean we're trying to do for the for the swimming pool, um, and a lot of our stuff was like, how do we make the how do we make the pool feel as big, and scary and mysterious as the ocean does in, in Jaws? So. <laughs> Look, I know Brazil is a warm country where you know there's a lot of pools, there's a lot of water, and so I think it's a really great one to uh, to experience as a, as a as a Brazilian person who loves being in, in the water and uh, excited for people to see it. And now it's summertime there. Oh, Ooh. perfect. <laughs> perfect summer movie. All right. Yes. Hello, Brazil. So happy to be speaking to you. Love, uh, love the passion for movies and culture and uh, very excited to be talking to you.